Okay, being on black folks and basically what I'm going to play for you first. Now, what I want you to do is realize what I'm going to show you, everything is fine because I'm going to show you the data. Okay, and then I'm a little pissed because the idea that when you did see the colorization that you did see over in uh, on the Hawaii telescopes and what you will see from telescopes around the world is the idea that there is colorization to stars in areas of, and it could be the asteroid belts that we have close by us that are new, whatever, I'm not even worried about studying that because they're way out there, okay? Either that or they're also close, a new time closeness that's never been before to Earth and NASA lied to us about it and everything like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play this that you know it's Fireball Network. We're going to play this and don't freak out because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the data about how far away stuff is. But it is a new sign that the idea that we do have so much supergiant light at nighttime that we are getting uh, holograms down to Earth in uh, Tullahoma here you can see this I don't know about New Mexico skies if I just go by what the data I get and then I show you how far away stuff is and everything like that but check this mosquito action out up in space and it's huge okay and it's real fast because here you go as okay now that is more than likely some kind of uh, galaxy or asteroid belt or whatever the hell okay now you're going to relax because I'm going to show you how far out and then I'm going to show you what I just what I first looked at just to see I was like well is that a shadow with a meatball and more than likely when I first when I show you the still shot when we go back to what is the cover shot for this more than likely we might have a shadow of the meatball okay and we get an idea of how far away the meatball is from earth and so forth and so such because this stuff is in front of the meatball meatballs or whatever the hell's out there because NASA always changes names on objects in space. They always keep track of that so that the idea they know the secret codes all the time. Do not mess with the United States government. USA, 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 the eagle in the sky. Don't let anybody poke you in the eye. Okay, now check this out. Look at the spider crawling <laughs> in space and that's not a spider crawling on the camera. Okay. And now I know that that's the first thing that people are going to go there. You're going to see a news report of the idea that this is not what's really in the sky. There was a spider that crawled around on, and that's not a spider, folks. Okay, That is some fast-moving star galaxy or something. No matter what, Phasar, Quasar, take whatever goddamn name. It's the Joker in the sky. I mean, what the hell? Take a look at that, okay? And if anybody is playing a joke on some space data and facts, uh, it's flipping hilarious. But it's not folks okay that is something that basically zoomed around the sky way off okay now let's look for it. And there's your okay that's our object okay our star object there that comes up in the box to the right but you can't miss the I'm just calling it the spider galaxy for now okay because <laughs> it's not spider-man and it's not spider galaxy and it's not a spider on the camera okay so awesome footage from fireball Thanks to all branch, branches of the U.S., anything, okay? Don't get on a blacklist, folks, because you don't want to screw with your government or your country. And the casino, and the, if you take a look at the anything that you would do, anything with finance lately, the U.S., we're just doing hunky fine. The banks are fine, everything. So check that out. Spider in the sky. I lo This is just unique as hell today. Okay, so a spider galaxy something, okay, maybe they've known about it for ages, flap your lips, NASA, tell us some truth about something, so that's in the nighttime sky, folks, Re realize nighttime sky, super giants is glowing, or it's bright enough, and it's so damn dark, you ain't seeing it, and if you notice, the moon's a lot brighter than it normally is, because the super giant sun is glowing on it, and we are hell of temp record temperatures all over the flipping country, okay, now, as you've seen, that was the box, and I think I can pop it back enough and freeze the box, okay, that's our object distance okay so no matter what this should be at least that far out you would think okay and it's sure the hell even with eye perception it looks like it and that's the spider I've been saying it's flopping around there okay there's your object let's get the data on that in going to it and then where the trustness too is no, no matter what okay I pulled up the data and basically no matter what and not even trusting if I pull it up which one it is because I don't even really care and I'm going to show you the image I seen that I pulled it up okay so no matter what something is 0 0.744 all you out which is not that damn far because that's closer than the Sun okay now we also had one at 30.84 one all you okay so let's that's hell always out okay so how far is that spider probably the big 3841 I would think way the hell out okay but let's check it out what I saw 
what I saw was that. So I figure, and basically I'll blow this up right now. It's factual data for you. 24-7 truth all the flipping time. Uh, doesn't work for a lot of people. Anybody who's tried to screw Vino, grab your ankles and cough. Okay, now, here we go. Right there. Okay? So basically, more than likely, that is a image of some mass object, some huge object. I don't think I think this is as far as I can go up. And basically, that was our spider action. That's the one I looked at to get the spider action off of Tullahoma. Okay? So was it the, is it an asteroid belt? Is it an anomaly? And we have so much sun from super giants. And all I have to do is tell you, ladies and gentlemen, look at your temperatures in the early tornado season that we've had in the United States of America. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the early tornado season in the United States of America. That's as far as I'm going. You can go to Dutch Sense and just about anything that he showed you data and truth on, that stuff exists. Harp exists, okay? This is not them screwing around. This is stuff in space. We've been getting space weather. We've had huge objects going flying by out in space. Big, small, very flipping fast. And the wind's not bad today. Not where I'm at. I don't know how it is where you're at. And they don't love us anymore. Who cares? Kiss my lily white ass. Kiss anybody's colored ass. Welcome to the United States of America. Do not tread on me. Okay, so don't know. Don't give a rat's ass. The whole world can kiss my ass. Okay, don't really care. I've already got my friends. Okay, so now let's check that out some more. So factualize, look at your data and everything like that. And then I'll give you the data on that one more time. And we'll know truth that the idea that that one object that got ass blistered out there was the star that you get in the square was 0.744 all you out. So that's not that far. That's three quarters of the distance of the sun. But remember, that happened at night on our dark side. And so we know about the meatball. So there's a nice x-ray of the meatball or an asteroid belt, NASA. Tell somebody something. I think we're hella safe because I know the distance. So you already know that that's big ass damn thing no matter what is three quarters of the distance of, of between Earth and the sun. And the sun is... Uh, almost uh, getting close to one IU again. It's still under one IU. Actually, it's always under one IU. The sun has pretty much been. Now, we are getting a little farther away from the sun of recent. I'm not even going to waste my time checking that today because it do, we do uh, move quite slowly and we were at an all-time closeness known to man uh, of the sun and maybe they might have tweaked with that. So we might have hit the all-time closeness to the sun, especially since it was in wintertime when we we're supposed to be the farthest away from the sun that we we're supposed to be. Okay, and then the idea that you know where you see the sunset right now, I've seen it setting northerly, and I'm on the your great fruitful plains, ladies and gentlemen. We feed America. I love farmers. I love cattle. And if you got a single uh, daughter uh, underneath the age of probably about 30 years old or something like that, and she's single, and she's nice, and she's religious, and she don't even have to be religious. You know what? I my dad taught me the idea that. You can lie to your friends, but don't lie to me. Family, family, family. Being on black, big prick. So, cattle farmers, I love you. Cattle ranchers, I love you. And the ones that are pissed off <laughs> that don't have a granddaughter or a daughter or something that they can... I'm single. Beano Black single. So anyway, more facts, data, and truth about Beano Black later. And here's some more data and facts today, ladies and gentlemen, of space. And really quickly, folks, you can see the colorization that I'm talking about here. At least I can see it in this video. But what I'm interested in, people, is what are you seeing when you see my videos out there? Are you seeing the colorization of these stars? Because I can see green there, and I can see red there. Okay, And there's two dots, no matter what. Okay, And then I have red, red, and there's different stars and colors here. So what I want to know out there is what are they showing you out there in video land? Because, and also anybody who has been, unless I pop out of this real fast, Beano Blacks, all stars, if you pay attention, you better be paying attention to legalities because no matter what, okay, you need to, and anybody that uses mine, but anybody who has been using mine for establishing people to come to their internet sites for business purposes, okay, Basically, you will be donating to my LLP and my LLC, okay? So I would say email Beano Black or you're going to be seeing some legal paperwork, okay? Don't worry about seeing a lawyer. Worry about seeing legal paperwork and you will be in a court near me or near you. If you got to come to me, you better have some money for some real good plane tickets. And if you don't 
pass some pretty good security clearances, you might not be able to travel in the United States of America. So if anybody has been using my videos, fair warning, you will be donating to my LLC, my LLP. Either that or sleep well. And yes, folks, I came up with a name. It has a many reasons, many names, many parts of it. Okay, and it's Be No Black Day, and basically Be No Black Day as the idea that anything to hit Earth and the Earth going to be ending. Okay, the worst thing we ever have to worry about is something being caught on our windscreen, our windshield, or possibly. And then another thing, a little educational here is like I've always told you, is get rid of the tracking up top and get down to the actual video that one there and basically we'll go to it and well, then we might even see if they've been screwing around with the colorization of the video so let me save some video time and on my video feed here I got good color here we'll see what we have when I put the video up and then the idea since I am very terrible at SCADA supervisory control and data acquisition ladies and gentlemen we will find out if because Bino's got eyes out there can let us know what's being played around with. And we and honestly, anybody that emails me a lie, it gets washed through the mill two or three times. So, and then uh, in the future, people that tell lies, basically, if you've seen my comment box, usually when somebody puts a naughty comment every once in a while, I will embarrass your IP address to death by putting it on and letting everybody know your name I mean, you do it yourself. I put on what you put on or whoever, and then maybe if someone's got a problem with you, then maybe you better be in contact with somebody because the idea that somebody's playing with you and trying to make you an enemy of mine, and basically, I don't have any enemies. So, uh, that's a thousand percent correct and factual, and anybody can check on that any day. Uh, then, basically, the people who piss me off are waking up. So, I don't have any enemies I don't, and you won't be my enemy. You can't. It's not, well, that's as far as we go on that stuff. So, anyway, factual truth, 24-7, so let's see what else is going on in, in the world. This was, you know, looking at my video, which is basically that there. So be careful. Make sure you always put Beano Black on the video and on the information. Now, sharing information, that's fine. But if you put my videos up on the Internet, it better be might better be left alone with my name, signature, and everything like that, because I am the thousand percent infinite owner of Creative Commons attribution license. Reuse loud, but you better flip and put my name on it, and you better not mess with the auto. You better not mess with the pictures. That means anything. Don't mess with the pictures. Paris off anything. Anything. Okay? Don't mess with the colorization. Don't mess with nothing. There's always somebody out there that can fix something, folks. Uh, people tracking people illegally, felony-wise, and stuff like that. And uh, big, big things they can do this and that. Well, they go. Everybody, company can do whatever they want. Pay the consequences sooner or later. So anyway, uh, this is interesting. And me basically being really good with a knife, always interested in anything medical that could. Uh, so working on the heart. Uh, not advertising for any uh, flipping uh, hospital, this or anything like that. We're just seeing what's going on when you look for Nehemiah Station, folks. We were looking for Nehemiah Station, and then we ended up getting this video here. And anyway, a lot of clamps. Do they actually go in there and do anything? Maybe if they have one of those robotic, robotic ones or something like that. Be no black. 1,000% truth and facts all the time. Let's get in there and see what's going on. Hey, heart surgeons. I think they're more important than brain surgeons. Your brain's gone. You're pretty much gone. So anyway, let's get in there and take a peeky poo. They make small holes anymore. So anyway, so anyway, I don't know. You want to see we work on work on your heart, but the idea that there's doctors out there. And no, I basically can't. I, let's make sure that I can put this video out here, and I'm pretty sure I can. So anyway. And like I say, folks, just basically cruising the internet and found what we could see when we were looking for Nehemiah Station. Okay, so. Uh, let's go see what's going on at Nehemiah Station besides this, okay? So, a thousand people have known that the idea that there's still heart surgeons out there somewhere, and Bino Black ain't going to make a comment, okay? So, you remember the page I was at, folks? All of a sudden, that, that heart surgeon thing's gone. It's, it's disappeared. No more doctors to operate on people's hearts. Oh, my gosh. What's going on? Let's look at Nehemiah.
and now we've looked at Nehemiah here, and basically we get this. So take a look at what's going on at Nehemiah Station. I might have spelled it wrong. I don't really care. 